I am Lou with another episode of My Car Story and today I'm in Milwaukee at the World of Wheels. They've been kind enough to have me come on out and I'm with Chuck Woolery. Chuck, what year make and model is this great custom car? It's a 1967 Buick Grand Sport California edition. Let's go take a look at this. Now Chuck, you do the custom work on this car. First of all, a really unique color. What What is the combination of this? Here? It's a, 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 a lime green on the top and then a, a, a gray and green mix on the bottom half of the car. It's a two-tone paint. You know, when you come to the world of wheels, you, you kind of have a mental expectation of unique things. And even how you've put in the grill there the colors to this car, and I can see that you've shaved the bumpers Tell me other things I'm looking at at this car that I wouldn't normally expect when I step back from it. Come on with me. First of all, I see there's no chrome. You have this faux chrome. You even put a little shine on that right there. And, and does, did you sink these in? Yeah, they're sunk in. Wow. Let me move back so people can take it in, and then I'll get close to it. How long does it take for your customer to build a car like this? This took about two years to build. Okay. What's the toughest part on a car like this? I mean, was this car in pretty good shape to begin with, or is this something that has to be body, every panel retouched? No, there's all original panels on it. It wasn't wow. rusted at all. Uh, it was an older restoration, and uh, actually looked pretty nice, but we yeah. decided to change the color. I like that... Uh, in the quarter there, that piece right there. Yep. And then if you look closely, which you will because I'm gonna show you, there's the California GS with the faux chrome. Now notice also the door handle put like so on the post car. And you were sharing with me, when you choose the wheels, it's one of the last decisions you do because you wanna just see the overall car. Right. We want to make sure the wheels and tires that we pick fit the car and, and is not the focus of the car, but yeah. blends in with the car. It, the, your choices are just fantastic. I mean, really, really look good. Let's take a look in the trunk. Before we do that, though, I want to step back. Notice the shaved bumpers there. Notice your dual exhaust. And let me just give you a little flavor of the overall back before we open that trunk. Nice. Okay, let's open the trunk. We've got, notice even in the GS, the paint matches rather than a red GS. And notice there's no keyhole. Is the gas tank still behind the... Uh... Yes. Okay, so that's about the only thing that's normal. And <laughs> sure enough, we have a baby one in the back. How did you do that? And is that cool or what? We actually created that before we did the car. Oh, wow. So we knew what we were going to do. Oh, oh my lot of, goodness. A lot of time into that. <laughs> That's amazing. Just amazing. And the trunk looks just so well done. That was really a surprise. I mean, that's, that's great. All right, we'll shut that. And I'll have you open it for me. I don't want to uh, mess up paint or anything. Let me have you open it, please. You see how that opens? Pull handle. Got it. I'll let people just focus on that for just a moment. We are at a car show, so somebody else started up a car. We're going to have those kind of noises. But even the handles... Everything, you're going to see how that lights up. This kind of carbon fiber like feel to the interior. The seats look super comfy. Let me just stand back so people can see those. And I'll put in the description Chuck's information. So if you want to get your car done like this, you can come and find him. Even the plastic over the screen hasn't been used just yet. 
Now, share with me the buttons here, Chuck, because you've got some special buttons. It still has the tag in there. I mean, even the buttons are all custom. Right. So what are these red buttons for? The red one is for that uh, electric uh, trunk opener. Okay. Um, and it, this is the silver one in the center there. It's a push button start. This? You can either start with the key or push button. Wow. Very, very cool. And here's our park, reverse, drive, all push button. Wow. And it almost has like a... Uh, Al, um, a snake skin to it. Yeah, it's alligator skin. It is alligator. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And the seats are comfy and firm, which I was thinking they were going to be more comfy than firm. But even look at the custom rail here carbon fiber with the body by Fisher. So well done. Let's uh, pop the hood, shall we? Before we start it. We have a Willwood brakes on it? Yeah. This is interesting, and I'll tell you why. Number one, that 67 was the only year that had that type of an air cleaner on it. They had a name for it. Star Wars. Star Wars. All right, the, the Star Wars. But that is not the correct motor for this car. What motor do we have in it? This is an LS3. Oh, boy. 525 horsepower. Now, how did you build that Star Wars one a year only piece? Well, that, we wanted some kind of engine cover for the LS motor. We wanted to feature... Um, the Star Wars air cleaner, so yeah. we, we made a Star Wars air cleaner to fit the LS motor. That's incredible. And now you've got the, I want to show people the underside of the hood, the California GS, where it looks like it's kind of coming out, like the metal has folded back and shows you the wonderful beach. <laughs> And this is your company? Yes. There you go. You guys can contact them to get this. All right. And no, no wires exposed. I no. can see just clean. All right. Well, let's, let's fire this one up. And I want to actually start by looking over your shoulder because things happen in here as you start it.